Friday, the city of Grand Island planted the last two trees of eight trees that were purchased with grant funds from the Trees for Nebraska Town Statewide Arboretum and from the Grand Island Community Foundation in honor of John Brownell. Nebraska certified arborist Barry Burroughs, who works for the city of Grand Island Park Maintenance, said the location was picked to replace the trees that had died. One of the main reasons why we planted them here, we chose this area, there's a couple different reasons. One of them is uh, the accessibility to water. Um, it's close to our main shop and one of the other reasons we planted it was the city just buried some uh, sanitary sewer or some uh, storm sewer pipe through here. There used to be a ditch and we lost a lot of trees, uh, native trees, uh, volunteer trees that were growing along the ditch. So by, the, by them doing that it, it removed a lot, of, a lot of our existing trees. So we wanted to put some trees back into this location, and uh, that's one of the reasons why we chose it. Um, to the east of where I'm standing, um, we chose them trees just for some more shade around the picnic shelter and near the playground area for parents to, to get out of the sun and stuff while their kids are playing. Burroughs recommends you think things over before choosing a type of tree. Really look at your site, look at your area, look at how much property you have or the the area that you're dealing with. For instance, if you have a small front yard, um, it's facing the north, more likely you're not gonna really want a big shade tree. You'd look for more like a small tree or a medium sized tree. And for that instance, uh, a small tree is maybe one of the flowering trees, like a, like a crab apple. Um, there's some Amer maples. Medium sized trees is probably like some birch. Uh, white spire birch, paper birch, heritage birch, uh, them kind of trees. Maybe this, there are some of the smaller maples that don't get quite as tall. Um, more in the 30 to 40 foot range, you know, maybe in there. Um, see if you have power lines going over the top. If you have power lines going over, then then you know that you're gonna you're gonna be real restricted on what size of tree you need. Um, Underground. It's very important to call 811 Diggers Hotline. To find out um, maybe you have some uh, power lines going across the front of your yard. Now they will not mark some of the wires that go to your house from the street or from your alley, but it'll give you a good indication of where your your lines are buried and stuff like that. But it's real important to know uh, the area that you're doing. You know what side of the house is it? Is it the east? west, south, north, and that, that's going to determine, you know, on the south side of your house, you may want a larger tree that um, will block some of the sun during the summertime and, uh, and then help, even though the tree loses some leaves in the winter, the, the canopy still gives you some protection during the winter months as far as keeping your house warm and things like that. There is proven fact that that does help even in the wintertime. Burroughs said you can research what type of tree to plant in your area online. Many different websites you can you can go to and, and search for particular trees. Uh, one of my favorite websites is the Morton Arboretum website. They have a great website that talks about trees for our area. Um, it's an arboretum of course, so they've done a lot of research on different trees. They know what you can expect, what soil types they work in, things like that. Burroughs also said that there is a new way that everybody should be planting their trees. There's been a lot of research done on trees um, and the, the correct way of planting has changed over the years. I know when I first started uh, planting trees there was a different method and that was, that was the late 80s early 90s. Um, there, we, there was a certain way to plant a tree and so then things have kind of evolved and changed over time. And now what they're saying is to look for, when you buy a tree, if it's in a container, or if it's in a ball, ball burlap tree, or even if it's in a grow bag uh, uh, pot, you want to search down through the top of the soil and uh, look for the first lateral. Pretty much every tree has one lateral root coming out of the side of the trunk down, down by the soil. You want to find that first lateral. The first lateral root is going to determine if uh, you plant it to the grass line or an inch below your grass line, but no deeper than an inch below. Um, 
They even say that it's all right to have it a little higher if you need to, but you need to find that first lateral. That's very, very, very critical. Um, one of the things that it does is it, as the tree gets older, it creates a nice root flare. The more root flare you have on a tree, the more strength that that tree's gonna have coming out of the ground. When you plant trees too deep, they look like a telephone pole with no root flare. That trunk is growing below the tr below the ground and it's creating uh, root rot or stem rot, trunk rot. It's keeping moisture around that trunk and then it's gonna be maybe more susceptible to high winds and, and blow over like a, just blow it right out of the ground. So we're urging people to really, 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 when they buy a tree, take your time, find out where that first lateral is on that ball or potted tree. And that's also going to determine how deep you need to plant the tree. You know, a lot of times we'll, we'll get a, we'll get a 18 inch root ball and we sh we're, we're only going to need to dig a eight inch hole because by the time we find that first lateral, we got to peel all that dirt and roots back down to that lateral. So we, you know, actually planting a tree is actually easier than it probably looks sometimes when you're at a nursery. Because you look at the nursery and you go, wow, that's a big pot or that's a big uh, bald tree. I gotta dig a lot. Well, not really, not necessarily. Depends where that first lateral is. You may only have to dig half of what that is showing up.